Hi, today we will connect the FCB1010 MIDI pedal board with Ableton Live. We start to connect the pedal board to a sound card via MIDI cable or we can use a MIDI interface. Then what we have to do is to download some MIDI editor that we find on the, we can find on the net. Uh, there are some for Windows, some for Mac, some are for free. Uh, for Windows, I find this one. I found this one, FCB1010 MIDI Editor, and uh, it, it it works very well and it's free. First thing you have to do is to uncheck all the program change field. You let it leave it blank. Then in the control change, you put the number that you want, but in the value you let the 107 value. And then in the control expression, you uh, modify just the field control. We are in the bank 00, zero you can see on the top. And for each button, I change my control change. So for button 1, I, I put 1. For button 2, I put uh, 2, 3, and so on. Only in the, five, only in the fifth button, In the fifth button, I put five, but going on with the banks, I let the five control change because I wanted to let the same function. So if I go in the bank one or bank two or bank three or whatever, I always find if I click on the fifth button, the control change number five. That means that in all the banks that I can select, this button, the number 5, will always have the metronome, for example, will always have the same function. Uh, on the contrary, the other buttons change. Then you have to transmit all the, the work that you done to your uh, computer. So you, you click on transmit. And then you follow the instruction that you find. On the newest uh, firmware version, you you just have to transmit and it's done. On the on the old one, you have to follow these instructions. There is another function in this software, very interesting, it's uh, the spreadsheet view where you can finally have a, a spreadsheet of what have you done. So you go in the Ableton, go in the preferences, you go in the MIDI sync settings and uh, you activate the track and the, and the remote fields of your sound card. Final things to do, you click on the MIDI mapping, and once you click, you, you can assign the buttons that you need to the function that you need.